Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from domesticatedme.com and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about my piercings yet again. My piercing videos have become some of the most popular videos on my channel. You guys keep coming back and asking me for questions, recommendations, um, all kinds of stuff and I am here for it. I love it. So keep them coming, keep asking me questions. I do plan on doing a Q&A video very soon. So the more questions you have about where to get them, uh, what looks best, anything at all, just bring them my way. I know you guys are interested in the pain levels. I know that you guys wanna know um, about a little more about my experience getting pierced by Brian Keith Thompson, but yeah. Any questions you have, send them my way. In my previous videos, I mentioned that my ultimate goal is to have diamond earrings in all of my piercings. And so today I'm gonna share my upgrades. I have upgraded a lot of my piercings with diamond pieces, so I wanna share those with you. But before I begin, I just wanna make it absolutely clear that when I say I'm upgrading my pieces, it has nothing to do with the brand, it's just with the jewelry themselves. All of my last piercings have been done by Brian Keith Thompson, and for all of those piercings, I've had BVLA jewelry. I still love BVLA, and when I go to Brian Keith Thompson for my next piercings, I will continue to get BVLA pieces. But uh, another brand that I've really been into the last few years is Maria Tosh. And Maria Tosh, her pieces are a lot easier to get access to because she is someone who has shops now all over the world, and she has a flagship here in New York City. So the first three upgrades that I did was removing my little simple gold BVLA studs and replacing them with diamond Maria Tosh pieces. And if you guys remember, I got a beautiful signature Brian Keith Thompson stack that I absolutely love. And then I also got my tragus pierced. The tragus earring was a little triangle and then the stack were simple little circle studs. So I've replaced those with diamond Maria Tosh earrings and I'm gonna show you those and then my latest piece that I just got for Mother's Day in this video. So I'm really excited to show them to you. Are you ready? So let's start with my stack. These are two Maria Tosh scalloped diamonds. This is their smallest diamonds that they have because it's a stack. I if I got diamonds that were too big, they would just still look like one piercing. It would just look like a, like a two diamond single stud i really wanted to show that there are two separate studs so that's why i got these smallest diamonds that they had they do have um what they call um in, uh, invisible diamonds which means that you don't see any of the prongs or you don't see the setting these are scalloped i just asked for the smallest ones so this is the one that i got I do like their invisible stack, their invisible diamonds. So that was something that I kind of went back and forth with, but ultimately I just said, I want the smallest one so that you can see the separation. You can see that they are two individual earrings, two individual piercings. So that is why I went with these. For my tragus, this one is a little bit of a longer story. This is their diamond trinity and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I've been wanting this earring for so long but I wasn't sure about the size. They come in two sizes, a small one, which is around $220, and then the larger one. The first time that I went into the Maria Tosh store, I got the smaller one because Brian gave me a very small, little, simple triangle stud, and I really like the look of that size. But I am my mother's daughter, and when I mentioned to my mom that I, that. I had purchased the smaller diamond. She said, well, if you're gonna get a diamond, just get the larger one. I will say that for the average person, I would recommend the smaller one. If you're thinking about getting a uh, getting this piece for your tragus, I would recommend the smaller one. It's dainty, it's beautiful, it's, it's just beautiful. This though, it's a little extra, but because I am a full-time content creator, I'm not going into an office, I'm no longer working in government, I can pull it off, I think. Anyway, and uh, when I see photos of myself from this angle and you see the piece, I just think it's beautiful, I really do. So for me, it's not too much, but for the average person, I would probably recommend the smaller one because you would get away with it at in different environments, especially um, our workplaces that can be a little more conservative. So. 
that is my tip for that one. Um, and then finally, for Mother's Day, I have wanted to replace my Helix earring for so, so long. I got this piercing done when I was a teenager, probably in high school. And the angle of it, I don't know if that was the angle of what, of how the piercings were done in that era, but it kind of, you could see the ending to it at the very top. So whatever stud I put in, it would kind of be facing kind of down. And then back here, right at the top, you would see the piece at the end, the backing. And I never liked the way that my studs would fit. I never liked the look of it because you almost couldn't see the piece because it's kind of like facing down. And then you would see the stud. And so I was very confused as to what I should put into this piercing. I thought about getting like a dual ended piercing and I actually researched it and I was probably gonna order something or have something made for me, which would have like a stone here and a stone there. So it would be dual ended, but I wasn't sure. And then looking on the Maria Tosh website, I was stuck between two. Two ring pieces, two hoops. And I put it on my Instagram and got feedback from folks. So I was stuck between the princess hoop, which is absolutely beautiful. And it looks like an engagement ring. It actually looks like my engagement ring, which is what drew me to it. It's something, I mean, it's beautiful. It's, it's diamonds, but it also has just that twist that makes it just a little more unique, that it looks like a little engagement ring. It's a little diamond uh, piece and then with two little diamonds on the side. So I really, really like that one because it was just different. But then I also really like this one, an eternity uh, ring because it's just classic and gorgeous. And I mean, just who doesn't want a hoop full of diamonds? So I was stuck between the two. I put it on Instagram and most people voted for this one. And ultimately I agreed. I'm super happy with it. I love it. I think the size is perfect. It was, this is again, their smallest hoop that they have available. And I'm not gonna lie, it was very tough getting it on because the opening of the clicker did not have a lot of room so I really had to like like scrape it to push it into um, its place so my ear was quite red but I finally got it in there and it's had time to breathe and this I mean like I said I got it in high school so it's totally healed and I just love it I love the fit it's exactly how I wanted it I didn't want a hoop that would just dangle and like flop around. I wanted it to be a huggy. I want it to truly just hold on to my ear, my helix. I just wanted to just be snug and not move around a ton. And this is, this is perfect. This is perfect. I am so happy with my new earrings. So happy with the way that my ear looks. The only one I have left to switch out is this guy right here. I love this hanger earring. I had this made for me. Um, I'm Colombian, so we get jewelry done. My aunt has designed so many of my pieces. And so we just come up with ideas and give it to our jeweler and they do it for us. And so this is a piece that I had made from 18 karat gold. It's threaded. And as I mentioned before, I wanted you guys to let me know if you were interested in this because I was actually going to start selling these but due to a few things including COVID I have not been able to set that up but if you do like this hanger earring I love it it's adorable I get so many compliments it's the reason why it's going to be the last one I switch out um, definitely let me know sign up to my newsletter because as soon as I have all my ducks set as soon as I have it ready, I will be announcing it on my newsletter. So definitely make sure that you are signed up to my newsletter and make sure you're following me on social media. I am at Jessica Y. Flores on Instagram and Twitter. Obviously, I post much more often there because it's just easier for me to post my day to day than to create a video. But yeah, definitely follow me so that when I am able to get these um, on sale, then you will be the first to know. So sign up and follow. Let me know what you think. Are you into curated earrings? Are you into constellation piercings? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about these individual pieces. Are you a Maria Tosh fan? I stalk their website constantly. I have 
a piercing in mind that I will only get when I have the funds to buy the earring. And that earring is a lot. So I don't expect to have that, get that piercing done for a very long time, for a very long time. But I do have one in mind for this one. But if you have any recommendations or if you are a Maria Tash fan and think something would go well here or let me know what you're looking into, I just... You don't have to twist my arm to look at piercing photos and websites and jewelry, so let me know. And while we're here, I have to mention that these two are both from Kendra Scott. Yes, Kendra Scott does make fine jewelry. I don't know why a lot of people don't know this, but they actually make beautiful fine jewelry. And these are diamond Huggy Hoops from Kendra Scott. They're called Jet, J-E-T-T, and I have them in the white gold and the yellow gold. I love these guys. They're so, so beautiful. For your birthday, if you're unaware, Kendra Scott gives you 20% off their fashion jewelry or 15% off their fine jewelry and home goods. So I definitely use that 15% off to buy these. So... If you're interested and you want to look into their fine jewelry pieces, definitely don't waste that uh, birthday coupon, you know, uh, discount. Use it towards the fine pieces because you'll get bang for your buck for sure. These three pieces I've actually had for several months now and I purchased them at the New York City flagship store. But this one because I got for Mother's Day this year and we are all staying home and the stores are closed, I ordered it online. It did take a little extra long to get to me more than usual but it wasn't a ridiculous amount. I bought it I think the week before Mother's Day and I got it the week following Mother's Day this week. I'm so happy I was able to share these pieces with you. Thank you so much for watching. Please use that comment section below to ask any questions, make any requests, or just say hi. You guys know that I love to hear from you, but definitely, definitely let me know if you have any questions about piercings in general because I will be answering those soon. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might be interested in. Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay tuned.